The uh, next item is a report from participants who attended the ASCD, formerly the Association of Supervision and Curriculum Development Conference. And they did give us a nice written report on highlighting some of the things. Well, first of all, thank you for the opportunity to attend the National Conference. Not often do we get this opportunity with the National Conference being as close to us as in Chicago. Um, it's, for me, it was awe-inspiring to be there with over 10,000 other educators from not only in the United States but around the world. I got to have personal conversations with people from Singapore and Australia and to realize we're going through some of the same trials and tribulations as people in other countries also. Um, we're not doing this alone. We're all trying to do what's best for kids in education. When we decided to do this presentation, we wanted Amanda Zeba to be the one to speak, but she couldn't be here tonight, so we had to go with Plan B. Um, you do have the report there. You can see what um, everybody has gotten, and that's just touching the surface. Um, I'm going to tell you, I've never gone to a conference with four ladies that never stopped. We continued to go to every possible <laughs> session. Um, never took a break. Um, I zipped through the exhibits in, in about five minutes, okay? And I don't even know if these guys made it to the exhibits. They were going to sessions. So we took advantage of everything we can. Amanda is not here tonight because she is at an Eagle Bluff field trip, so um, she could not be here. But I think she did uh, um, try to give you much of what she had to say. What we decided, because we could go on for hours tonight, but we drew straws. And Gina is going to be our spokesperson. Okay. Actually, I thought we were all supposed to have a presentation, so I did a presentation for you. Um, I said I've never been on a place where we had 10,000 adults running around like a little trick-or-treat bags to get anything we could, so I brought my little bag that we had. And um, I want to say thank you very much for allowing us to go. It was just outstanding. We learned that Barb is a good travel agent as well. We got to tour the Chicago airport by accident, but we made it through there. <laughs> Um, we also got to meet Henry Winkler in the, air, in the elevator on the way down. It was kind of cool and everything. Um, when I went, I kind of focused on three different areas. One was math, vocabulary, and poverty. And I know at the middle school, we've now implemented the five-minute math um, during our study hall. And it's kind of cool because when that five-minute timer goes off, the kids are like, oh, man, can't we keep going on and on and on? So we're actually doing something kind of fun. It's card games and board games and just learn how fast you know your facts, basically. Um, one more other thing I did, we were implementing at the middle school, um, the session I went to was the 55 important words for the Common Core. That all students starting from kindergarten by the time they leave high school have 55 important words. Well, when I saw Steve coming down the hall, I'm like, you probably want to run the other way because I've got a cool idea. <laughs> to me, I look at those hallway walls and they're blank canvas for me. And so what we're doing is we are now creating, and this will be on colored paper, we are now creating large word walls to go across every word across the walls to the whole entire middle school, which has the, the word that they need to know and the definition as well. These will also be um, put into their assignment notebooks for next year. Another area that I went to and that we did as well was poverty. And it was very enlightening when we received our um, Gallup student poll just the other day, which talked about well-being, engagement, and hope. And one thing I think we have to remember that our gift to all learners is education. And so I'd like to sum up the words of Maya Angelou, which was an awesome presentation, her thing. And basically, I like to, I like to draw, obviously. Um, I'm also a gardener, and so I look at our classroom as a classroom full of diverse learners, just like a garden. Sometimes you have kids that stand out, sometimes you have kids that just, uh, and then you even have little tiny weeds that come along, and no matter what you do, you still have to tend to them and create them. All kids don't come to our classroom from good households, as we know and told and all over. And so they come with a lot of cloud over their, over themselves. And so my Angelo, I guess their whole entire speech was, we need to all be the rainbow for all of our students. No matter what we come from, when we grow up, wake up in the morning, we need to come to work and we need to be someone's rainbow. Okay. Anything else, ladies? You want to add you your moment here. <laughs> my moment. Yes, trust me, I know you were just here last month, too. I had a moment with you guys. While you're here, you might as well. I, okay, I can yeah. share. Um, it is difficult to narrow it down because it was a nonstop weekend of just overwhelming and exciting opportunities. Um, I have learned over the last few months that I am a traditionalist and I'm really battling technology at the high school. So I focused on um, several technology 
sessions and probably the one that I most enjoyed was put on by two principals from Buenos Aires and they are dealing with the same thing and they showed a video clip titled Disconnect to Connect and it was probably one of the most powerful things I've seen in 90 seconds. I have already brought that back and shared it with my advanced health students and just the to reiterate the point that we need to put humanity back into technology and that you can have all these screens but you have to still be able to connect and build relationships because that's really what's going to pull you through and so kind of reiterated my traditionalist um, philosophy right now but it also helped me in ways that I can connect with them through their technology use and finding creative ways to ask them to turn it off. <laughs> to connect with me. So um, that was one of many highlights. So thank you for the opportunity to go to that. Thank you. Um, I guess the best thing that I, um, the session that I went to was on co-teaching that um, as a special educator, I guess really strive for inclusion for, you know, for all students. And so going and really learning about co-teaching was probably the greatest to bring back to the high school and talk with the other co-teachers that I teach with and trying to really implement what, you know, what I learned from, from the conference. So. The one big one that I came out with is um, I went through a session on formative walkthroughs and um, trying to help improve student learning. Um, and normally when you go and do an observation of a teacher or a formative walkthrough, you're looking at what the teacher is doing. And this taught me that we should not be looking at what the teachers are doing, but what, what are the students engaged in and what are they doing and what are they getting, at, getting from it. So looking at it from the student's perspective and making sure students are the ones that are learning and not so much emphasis on the teacher. Um, I will say that I didn't know these young ladies before I got to go to sh Chicago with them. Um, there are some things that um, I learned a great deal about, um, some things I'm still wondering about with them, but I want to thank you for this opportunity because I got to um, learn more about them and, it, learn to res and, and respect them more than I ever have, and I thank you for that opportunity. As they told you, we did take a scenic tour on the way down there and got to go through O'Hare Airport. Uh, they were telling me to turn, I turned and we took the scenic tour, but that is only good because we are now prepared to get to O'Hare Airport when you send us next year to Los Angeles. We'd really <laughs> like to go. So um, we are ready for that if you'd really like to send us. So if there's any questions, we'd be happy. What's the break? What are you looking at me for? <laughs> that that woke up the business manager. Um, so I'm glad you explained that. I didn't want people to think you flew to Chicago. No, we drove. <laughs> No, I don't know. <laughs> no, uh, we, we drove. I, I'd also like to point out that all of these ladies gave up their weekend. This was a conference that took place, so they were away from their families um, for an entire weekend. I think you left on a Friday morning? We left on a Friday, um, and we had a session Friday evening, and it went on Saturday from 8 o'clock until 6.30 at night. On Sunday, 8 o'clock till 4.30, and then on Monday, Due to the weather, we did leave a little bit early because that it, we came back in that terrible snowstorm, and yeah. we had timed it just perfectly. The ice was hitting just as I was dropping these ladies off here. So, so it's real commitment on their part as well to the time of the conference, which we really appreciate. And I think you can realize that they they came back with many great things, and it's only going to help students here in Toma. Yeah, Once I can say I, I read through this, and um, it's it reminds me of when we come back from the school board convention. Your head is just swimming with all these new ideas, and you get very excited about lots of things. And it was to the point where I was, I don't know if this could be a board academy, but I had a lot of, I had a lot of interest in some of these things that were brought. Um, the 55 words really intrigued me. The um, the 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 one on nonfiction text really intrigued me, and I don't know if the curriculum committee could maybe get a presentation or some more developed one where I could just sit in on or something. But I I I found this very interesting. And, and I think any of us would love to just sit down and talk to you individually too uh, about anything that we have learned at this and how how they're implementing it in their classrooms and in the schools. So.
I mean, and more I than one. And I think it's important to, to be able to collaborate what you've learned with your other peers, and, and that's, I know, something that we're really hoping happens. It already has. They've all presented at um, right. either team meetings or um, department meetings or faculty meetings Perfect. already. Um, and as you can see, <laughs> Robbie's going right ahead. So, yeah, so. That's great. That's, that's yeah. really good. Yeah. Thanks for the time and commitment to, to go to that, bring, bring back that information. Well, it's an, it's an outstanding conference, one that I've wanted to attend for years. And like I said, it was quite enjoyable. And I've learned a lot about some of our educators here, too. So we've got great educators. They gave a lot to do this. So thank you. Great. Thank you very much. Take the drive to Los Angeles. <laughs> Depends on if I'm driving or Kate. <laughs> <laughs> if we start now, we can make it, Greg. <laughs> Greg's mind is just going. <laughs> Thank you. And if there's any other thing, don't hesitate to contact any of us. We'll be happy to answer okay. your questions. Thank Great. you. Thanks for coming. <coughs>